inspired by a recent chat. Well, speaking of someone that <clears throat> he brought up uh, eventually retiring and uh, probably the top of this vision, the title of this vision should be where will you retire that's a trick dot 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 that's a trick question I don't understand that word. I think this is too was talking about a, uh, a retirement home. Not in the state of California. Because it's an overpriced shit here. Inflation. Corruption. Democrats. <clears throat> but I, I, I thought about myself uh, when I get older. No, 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 no. If I can walk, if I can at least hold a, a pen or a pencil. Fucking crayon. Um, I mean, get after it, man. I think you're a fucking loser, piece of shit, fucking coward, lame motherfucker, worthless, stupid, weak. And you say, man, I gotta retire from my job. I say, retire now. Or do something else. Well, I'm too good. I don't want to start at the bottom. Well, I got no college degree. I got no experience. I got no rich uncle. No inheritance. No. No. Um, have, I have a mortgage. I got. Uh, I don't have first and last month's rent. All these fucking stupid lame excuses. Yet these fucking idiots have uh, enough time to watch The Walking Dead. Look at what's going on with Game of Thrones or post uh, selfies with their fellow loser friends, fellow cowards. Yeah, we're so cool. We're so hip. We got everything done, man. Now we could relax. Fuck no. Fuck no. And no, I'm not going to give you fucking approval. Maybe your baba will. Maybe your daddy will. Maybe your best friend. Maybe your fucking fat loser friends. Your fucking minimum wage complaining motherfuckers. I say, yeah, it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. Take it easy. It is what it is. Well, what can you do? Must be nice. Well, you're not a millionaire. And uh, some people say, man, um, why are you so negative? Why are you so mean? But, uh, you know, I hear people in the background, at a dinner table, at Thanksgiving, 
at a party, at a barbecue, in the elevator, in a cafe, all over the fucking place that, um, I love bitchy, man. Again, I know I don't turn on this camera. It's like, hey guys, welcome to um my YouTube channel. Here's my here's my backup drawing channel. And I'm uh you know just the Marine Corps veteran. And today we're gonna use violet blue personal pencil. And uh, we're gonna draw Mr. Poopy Butthole as the Silver Surfer. And let's get to it. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Oh my god, I just love that show. It's amazing. Hold on, excuse me. <clears throat> Let me clean my throat. Let me get some water. Hold on. I always need some romantic music because the world is full of romance and cuddles. Oh my god. Alright, let's draw. All you ladies out there, good morning. All right, guys, let's, let's get to this. And, um, no, man, that's not life. If you think that's what life is, then knock yourself out. Go ahead and believe that. And that's also, this also doesn't mean, um, <clears throat> what's the point? The world is evil. Because I think of all the amazing people in my life, even though they're greatly, bigly, bigly, big league. I get, I forget Trump's word, big league, bigly. Hugely outnumbered by um, dumbasses and pieces of shit and cowards and lames. Um, all right, let me think about them. And, and, <laughs> and I do have faith in the next generation. Not all of them. And some, and uh, again, uh, the world will test its armor in the year 2050. And for all the dumb fucks that said, "No, what's what's so bad? What's wrong? Well, what's coming up in 2050? In the year 2050." Well, again, uh, the human population at this rate will reach 10 billion people. And if you're, if you're that stupid, I'm pretty sure you, can, uh, you cannot calculate that uh, hamburgers don't grow on trees. And that uh, seawater is not uh, drinkable. But... <clears throat> But there is a, the infrastructure as, as of today does not exist. And it doesn't seem that it will be able to, um, no one's calculated that it will be able to keep up with uh, that many, uh, that much people that would want fruits, vegetables, a hamburger, or even soda or drinking water. Well, someone needs to do this, and uh, your someone needs to someone needs to take care of this. And you're right, somebody does, because only a nobody, a coward, a piece of shit would say that. And obviously, somebody with some fucking brains, someone with guts, someone who's willing to dedicate your life, besides being a stupid piece of shit wimp, will take care of it. But um. 
You're so negative. You're so mean. And again, um, from my world travels, life experience. You know, I've seen so many pieces of shit just choose to be victims, choose to be coddled, choose to give up. I know we're going to cry racism or didn't grow up with a rich dad or a strong mom or a strong family or grew up in poverty. Um, I could have been a singer. Oh, I lost that acting contest. Um, I may want to do this and that. I know. I hear all these fucking excuses. It's not your fault, I know. I think it was Bill Gates who said something like, No, uh, <laughs> it's not your fault if, you're born, if you were born in poverty. But it is your fault if you die in poverty. And I was like, ooh, burn like that. And again, a lame fuck was like, oh, why aren't you a millionaire? You know what? Why aren't you uh, making us a drawing video from your Bugatti? Huh? That's right. Hey, but retiring. No, I can't uh, comprehend. <laughs> I don't want to comprehend. Um, I don't want to go down that path. Why? <clears throat> I, I am reminded of how much strength I have on dog box. I keep running into this uh, old fucking... I won't, even, I won't even say an old man, just this old coward. First time was cool. Hey man, nice dogs. That'd be pretty. I have a dog. I used to have a dog like that. Or I, you know what? I have a dog like that. And I thought, cool. Then the second time, oh man, it's a beautiful dog, man. I, you know, I have a dog like that. Like, Alright, you already told me that. And the third thing, yeah, man, I have a dog like that. I have a dog like that, too, man. It's a cool dog. I thought, you know, this idiot just wants attention. Just has no one to talk to. Nothing to contribute, so. That's all he can do, just old. I want to say he's probably at, at the youngest, in the 60s, at his youngest. And I think... Six decades of life, and that's what you've done. Nag. Yeah, you know. Imagine if I went up to um, a painter, someone paint, painting the house. Yeah, man, I used to have a brush like that. To a construction worker. Yeah, man, I used to have a hammer like that. To a ballerina. Yeah, I used to have a tutu like that. Who cares? What are you doing with your life? And people don't want to critique that. Oh, well, you know, they're getting old, man. They got nothing else to do with this life. And I say, fuck them. Turn your back on them. That's evil, man. You, you want to empower that? Empower stupidity or tell the next generation, hey, dude, kid, daughter, son, little one, don't do that. Don't be a lame piece of shit like that. And, and I think the ugly word, the uh, scary word, an effective word is uh, work. Because someone has said, uh, told me um, we were talking about work and they said I can't remember the last time that I worked 
and I don't want to remember the last time I worked because tattooing that wasn't work I was learning enjoying life studying making money building friendships relationships fucking trying um, new food and it got me to this path right here travels yeah I can't I couldn't call that work a step in life possibly living it's probably more accurate I know people will say, man, well, you're so lucky, man. You really didn't have that chance. All right. If you want to believe that, go ahead. If you want to be a lame, stupid fuck that, uh, man, you, were, you weren't born to witness and go through all this death, violence, crime, just moments of pain. If you're gonna be a lame fuck and just say, oh my goodness, well, you know, I had to sell newspapers and um, go to high school at the same time. Wow. Yeah. You're so tough, I'm pretty sure you could um, just waltz through a SES training. Yeah, man, but you don't understand now. <laughs> um, I only had one pair of pants uh, growing up. Damn. I think every Navy SEAL will just give you uh, their trident. Because uh, you've definitely overcome... Um, true test of life of being a warrior yep mm -hmm. oh man what well, do you see man I work at this job and I have graveyard shift and you know I don't get Christmas off oh my goodness let me uh, page everyone that I know send a message email Email, phone call, text, smoke, smoke signals, telegram, pigeon courier. Everyone that I know that's ever climbed the Mount Everest to uh, drag the statue of you up there and say, man, all of you that have gone here and climbed Mount Everest, that ain't shit. You know, in this case, it would graveyard check. You need to drive half an hour to work in this air conditioned or warm vehicle. Oh my goodness. And head to go from his, his or her own parking space to work. And one time they slipped, slipped on the ground. Now that's pain. So amazing. Get after it, motherfuckers. No excuses. Go forward. Trump 2020.